Titties! There's this video. Balls. There's this British sketch show I love where one of them is like oh, a bro oh. It's like a Baroque dinner party where they have like some dude in a puppy shirt playing the piano. I thought you were going to say a burrito dinner party for some and reason. Suddenly, but yo, sounds continue. like a party I'm interested in. This guy's playing like Bach or something and all of a sudden with the piano he starts going. Bomb, 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 he starts playing gay bar? That's <laughs> amazing. Ooh, I want to take you to a gay bar. Dude, the music video for that, they're dressed up as like Abraham Lincoln. And like in bath stuff. Yeah, it. it's such a great now. Um, well, there's your problem. You got lightning wolves. They've got a lot of really. They're like a weird band where you can't yeah. tell if they're a comedy. Have, skit. You, have you guys ever heard of King Missile? No. So I, I learned of them because they have a song called Detachable Penis. Get back Penis. here, you little bitch. Jesus. And it's just like. Ah, uh, I feel like I've heard you talk about this song. <laughs> I feel like I've shown you in high school. Yeah, I think you might have. But I also learned that they have. Is that rocks. motherfucker throwing rocks at me? Oh dang! Oh, wow. Look at how he well they're in. Heavy with the rocks. I learned. I learned they have a song called Martin Scorsese, and it's just talking about Alex. Them. Alex. 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 Violent. He said it looks like what? Your PlayStation. I got. Oh, it does. I think it is. Oh no. That must be where they got it from, mommy. But it's them talking about violently murdering Martin Scorsese while saying thank you for making such great films. It's great. He's like, I just want to grab him by his stupid head and wring his neck while his eyes bulge out of his skull and say thank you, thank you so much for making such great movies. I sent a song to a friend of mine and the song is called, called uh, John Goodman's Too Cool to Cry. By what? Trash. Uh <laughs> by a dude named Shoes. My friend, Wait, and he just goes, please. What we actually just, just happened? We gotta pour one out for you just our fallen Jaroopy. You just got annihilated. Wow. Again, Zach, I'm telling you, just don't bother. Okay, but now ugh, I just lost 25,000 blood. I want you to like, know you I have to go get them back. I want you to know you didn't even get to the bad part. Oh, man. But this is where you get, like, the amygdala arm, right? That's a yeah. cool ass weapon. I don't think you get it from, from here. Yeah, I thought it was DLC. The medulla oblongata? This isn't DLC, dude. What the Nightmare Frontier is? Nightmare Frontier is not DLC. Oh. Oh, this I'm thinking is... of the Hunter's Nightmare. Yeah. Indeed you are. They, they go real heavy on the nightmare. 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 Yeah. yeah. Because, because you're trapped idea... in a dream. No, no, no. The idea is that um, when a being evolves past its physical form, they create, like, their own realm that, like... Hell yeah. Some they, Lovecraft shit, basically. Yeah, they live in it, but their mind... Their mind is the entire area, but, like, their body lives in it. Yeah. It's that's, like yeah. that's weird. It's like it's, they have a physical and a metaphysical form. God, yeah. it's so and this their physical world is form all is just inside what your Ruby's like. head. Is that what you're saying? What? Are you saying this world is all in Jerupi's head? No, this the this world, world is, is real. But this world is in Amygdala's head. Yeah, it's like every world is real. It's just made by something else. Yeah. yeah. There's like your world, and then there's like another world that's influenced by like a fucking. Like a thing, like an other creature, and like all of those worlds are real. It's just one of them only exists because this one thing exists. Um, uh, and it usually has something to do with an old one or a great one. Well, yeah. the great ones are great because they've evolved into this like reality controlling creature. Yeah. Yeah. Like I oh, games yeah. like this hurt my already questionable like grip on reality. I know. That looked like a nice creek. You should go take, take swim. a swim, swim in it. Yeah. Droopy's probably a little bit dirty from running around killing all these beasts. I want you to know. Oh. I didn't expect that to work. All right. He like didn't even really like swing for an attack or anything. Where are these fucking echoes go, bro? Yo, I don't... You're you're going. The wrong way. Yeah, I'm vi I'm big lost. You literally just went in a circle. I had a blueberry crepe. You're going today. back toward. Oh my god. It was super good. What did you say, baby? Said I had a blueberry crepe today. Mm, that does sound it good. It was hella good. You got. I'm actually kind of angry. You got crepes without me. I was. I don't like crepes. 
They just like say I like crepes. Yeah. They, they have like a weird texture, I feel Oh, like. it's so good. It's like too smooth for it's, like the fact that it's bread. It's like the perfect texture. <laughs> that no, I, I feel that. I, I'm also not it's a like fan of the texture. It's like the in-between of egg and bread. And like, but I don't, I don't like persona either. <laughs> the in-between of egg and bread is Greg. It's Greg. It's, that's literally mm, what like a Greg thing is. Just keep going, dude. Yeah, it was blueberries, like a berry sauce, uh, vanilla custard, and then it came with fucking, like, ice cream, and I didn't even know that. And I was like, what? Well, it's hella good, dude. Oh, I forgot about the fucking rock, boys. Ow, that killed you. Yeah, I know. Some rock lobster. The B-52s are going on their last tour right now. They just oh my god, it. I need to see them. I'd yeah. see them. I'd see them live. I yeah. only know I two pop. songs. They just play those two songs over Dude, and over they're, again, probably. They're, they're, no, their premiere album is really fun. I, I have it on CD. Uh, Rock Lobster is a really weird song Dude, that not a lot of people so bring up. so weird. That's, that's from the, uh, their first album. Yeah. Okay, now I, I see. I see where that bitch is. I love the part where it doesn't she, matter. I'm just he just says animal yeah. noises, and then she just screams. There goes the gnarl! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> There goes the manta ray. Yeah, yeah. And she, she just makes fucking sound. And there goes the leopard seal. I feel like the B-52s is like what old school people that like fucked with ketamine and shit listen to back in the no, day dude, before like EDM. Th th this was like party music pre-EDM though, you're yeah, right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like all the wooks listen to the B-52s. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like the I consider ones. them probably like one of the first new wave bands because that album came out in 79. I thought it came out earlier than that. Nah, dude, it came out same year as Dead Kennedy's first album. That's crazy, oh that's, man. There's yeah, like a lot of shit over here. This seems like wild. a terrible area. It's a really fucking awful area. Wait, go in the water. I don't want to. Go in the water. Right? It looks scary. Just for a sec. Just go in the water. I feel like I'm gonna get hurt. Literally, just go in, come out. Oh yeah, that sucks. That's big suck. So what is that? Turn around. It that was a gremlin. So you're. You're about to live through one of the worst um, from software tropes ever, which is slow poison. No, specifically a big body of water that you have to walk through that gives it to you. Yeah. There's one in every single game. That's super annoying. It's incredibly <laughs> annoying. Um, I feel like I should probably buy a lot of antidotes. Nope. Again, you're in an optional area that doesn't go anywhere that's true, true i think true, that you true. should just jump down into the abyss i think that's a fight the monsters. fucking horrible idea i mean you i live. second that notion you should do that you I live did. yeah go fight some stuff go yeah, kick their asses I live but what are you scared no, wouldn't. yes i'm terrified gotta give him the old rochambeau god damn it i think you're lost i think i'm just about to burn a bowl of country tomorrow because i don't feel like running all the way back i you are complete bro no do, don't you dare <laughs> I know really I'm like really? almost there, but there uh, goes a manatee. <laughs> Whoa! There goes. Oh my god! And he's so fucking. He's my. He's my gay spirit animal. I'd let him touch my cock. There's just so <laughs> much sass in his voice when he talks. <laughs> oh Every, my god! It's, it sounds like someone could threaten him, and he would just like make fun of their outfit, and then not get like hit because oh, man, then they'd this be is sad. Because <laughs> they'd be like, "Wow, that guy there's, was fucking mean." There's, there's a song. Is that a uh, new? No. There's a song from the same album called Planet Claire. Yeah. And it starts off with like, she came from Planet Claire. Yeah, and like and I keep becomes, doing this hand motions. And then he goes, <laughs> like, ah. Some say she's from Mars. But she's not! <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking uh, classic band for sure. Straight wow! <laughs> he's, he's actually Waluigi. <laughs> Farewell, good hunter. Spoiler alert. I'm Spo I'm Waluigi. <laughs> Spoiler for the band. Uh, B-52s. Reach. Um, I just finished an audiobook recently. What was it? I remember you mentioning it. Uh, it's part of a trilogy. The book was called Goliath. The trilogy is the, the Leviathan trilogy. And it's like, uh, like a teenage, like it's definitely a book meant for like teenagers. Like, there's, like, a little bit of a romance plot in it, but, like, the setting it's set in is pretty interesting, 
it's like exaggerated World War One, and um, the the German and Austri- Austrian Hungarian powers are like steampunk. Ah, oh, dude, shit. steampunk is so cool. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is you read the teen fiction version of Full Metal Alchemist. It's a little bit. It's a little bit different because the the British and like ally sides. Um, I don't do alchemy. All there. Oh my god, there he is. Sorcery. He's big scary. I forgot. Um, I forgot about that. Yeah, but uh, um, I believe there's actually a shit ton of them. Yeah, I'm sure there are. the the fucking German power or the British powers and shit uh get all of their technology from uh fabricated creatures because like Charles Darwin discovered so much about biology that like they can just make like they can take DNA from animals and like mix them together and make and other shit. And then the main girl meets a guy who's had this done to him and he has special powers and then she is that Jupiter he, rising. And, this is every no. team fiction. The guy. The story of Twilight is also. The guy is um the prince of Austria, and so like his parents are are, are Franz Ferdinand and shit, and they get killed at the beginning of the story. And then the girl is uh this chick who pretends to be a boy to join the British heir. So, one note. Just to This sounds like some Game of Thrones type shit. It was it was decent. Just because this is my it was degree, okay. I have to let you know that Art Franz Ferdinand was actually not royalty. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, correct me on he, that uh, shit. Don't make me sound ignorant on the internet. I'm sorry. I don't want that. No, he, don't he married the Archie Archie Duke, sorry. Right? He married a commoner and then his yeah. dad is like, Alright, you're not uncle, I guess, was like, alright, fuck you. Yeah. And, like, that's what it's, like, partially about, is, like, because he married a commoner, like, as prince, he's not legal to take on the the throne of Austria, but he gets, like, a secret letter from the Pope declaring him the real heir and it shit. It wasn't even a commoner, it was just, like, 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 like a noble. Uh, yeah. He was, like, he wasn't noble enough. Yeah. That guy is White European... Really noble people are hella stingy. 